Hey guys, David here and welcome to another endurance laser video. Today we're going to try to make some flexible plywood and I've seen quite a lot of pictures online and they look really amazing. So I just made up this little uh, drawing here in Illustrator, it's about uh, 18 by 10 centimeters and here in the middle I'm creating all these little uh, slots and they're about uh, three millimeters spaced apart. Uh, that's a little bit less than the thickness of the plywood that I'm using and I think this should probably uh, create a nice flexible area. To cut through I'm just using uh, the same settings as I'm using to uh, cut this kind of plywood. Uh, I'm going through in two passes since that for me creates a cleaner cut at 170 millimeters a minute, 100% power. And I'm stepping down uh, one millimeter for the second pass to move the focus point down a little bit and make sure that it actually, actually cuts through very nicely. Uh, this recipe works really good with, for me, uh, especially if I turn on the air compressor uh, to get some air assist going to blow all the smoke out of the cut and get a really clean result. So let's just save the cheat code and then go over to the laser cutter and cut it out. So I already set up a piece of 4mm plywood. It happens to be the same one that I cut the chest pieces from a previous video out of. And I'm just going to turn on the air compressor now and start the cutting process. So the cutting almost completed, but for some reason uh, it just stopped after the first uh, round around the perimeter. Uh, something crashed by the controller, but I think it can just use like a utility knife to cut all the way through where it hasn't cut through already, so it should still be salvageable. So I'll take this out now and uh, cut it all the way through. As you can see on the back, uh, the perimeter uh, all the way around is not quite through everywhere. That's why I'm going around two times to make sure it's actually through. Uh, but the other ones have cut through nicely. So apart from the little mishap uh, on the end there where I had to cut through with a knife all the way around, it's actually turned out really nice. You can kind of see that light is shimming through and it is very flexible. Like you can very easily bend this wood really far with no effort at all. And it doesn't break. This is really quite amazing. I'm kind of scared to go too far because I don't want to break it yet, but this really does, yeah, no, you can like bend it completely 180 degrees, that is so cool. With that there are like so many possibilities that you could do with that, you could like make bracelets uh, using that, uh, this could almost be like a book cover or something like that, um, like the possibilities are really endless. Once you have something that's hard and stable like wood and then you just through cutting slits into it, you can create basically endless other things 